Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. All right, are you ready to work some more on this uh, paper bag journal? Gonna jump right into it here. So I was just showing you that I glued down those flaps and the openings on that smaller paper bag and then um, just gluing down this other piece of paper here. And I'm gonna turn this little paper bag into a pocket um, so that you can slide something behind it, but also there will be a journaling tag that I'll tuck inside. And then, um, I wanted when the, that, uh, flap was shut, I didn't want to have the paper bag be seen. I'd rather wanted that aqua color to be seen. So I just, um, was trying to line that up so it, uh, worked out well. And, um, while I was gone, um, I went ahead and prepped some of this stuff a little bit ahead of time so that you didn't have to sit and watch me, um, taking care of all that stuff. So I've picked out a few papers and, uh, I just backed that typewriter piece of paper there with some coffee dyed paper and just gluing that over the envelope flap to make another tuck spot and then this is going to go on the other side of that and I have already also um, inked around all the edges uh, with some vintage photo and sparing you from watching all the gluing and all that good stuff because you know what that looks like I don't need to show you <laughs> um, how I glue things but just gluing this down and then here, um, again, backed the um, pattern paper onto some coffee dyed paper. And then that's going to become uh, a little folder right there. And just gluing on the actual envelope. But I didn't glue where the opening of the envelope was so that you could still stick something inside there. Thankfully, I thought of that before I tried it the first time. <laughs> Usually that's not the case. <laughs> um, and then here, this is another um, from the same paper pack as all these other papers are from. It's just one small piece of, uh, it was actually the Notre Dame Cathedral, but this is just one small piece of that big picture. Uh, I didn't want to show the Notre Dame. Um, and then these papers here, here's again uh, another sack, and I realized I had forgotten to glue those flaps on the inside down too, so um, just doing that here. But uh, yeah, these other scripty papers are from that same paper pack as well. So all of this is from, so far, uh, all the pattern papers I've used are from uh, that one uh, Walmart paper pad. Um, which I got for, I want to say I spent maybe $2 on it, maybe two and a half. Um, so yeah, I got a really smoking hot deal on those paper pads and I just had never used them yet. So it's turning out pretty darn good, I think. <laughs> um, but okay. So this, uh, is another, it's going to be another pocket and a uh, tuck spot. Um, so just going to glue this down too. And here I don't have to worry about anything covering it up because I decided to put this on a slightly a different page than the first one. So I'm just making sure that the right and bottom sides are equally distant from each other. It's about a, a little more than a quarter of an inch, I guess. And then we have a pocket here that eventually will have a journaling uh, tag. But for the rest of the video, I think I'll be um, working on this inside spread. And what I wanted to do was make a pocket on the bottom of each of those pages. Um, but I'm, I didn't want to cover up too much of that camera page because it's just so cool. Uh, so here I'm just looking through some papers to see which one um, I think will look good. 
And so all of these papers are uh, the scraps, except for the one that I was just looking at, the script one. That one actually is, um, I think it's a Seven Gypsies from a totally different thing. And I, I don't know if I'll use it or not, but I just had it on my desk. So I thought I'd see what it would look like. Spoiler alert, I didn't use it for the pocket. <laughs> I like that page, but I thought it was a little too busy. I really like the colors of the black with that aqua. So I'm really thinking about that right now. And then now I'm thinking about this other page um, and what I might want to use on that one. But I'll, I'll come back to that. I think I've decided on that brick for the camera page. And now I'm trying to think of what to put on this other page. I do love that uh, phone um, dial. But I'm going to keep that for one of the larger journaling cards. Um, to tuck into one of those larger pockets. Here's another piece from that suitcase page, and I, I like the colors in that, um, and then this one too. And I'm really thinking about it, but in the end, I decided that it's just a little bit too busy. It's a little too much. So I put it up there to kind of think through a little bit more. Um, and here I was deciding on that one, but then I realized it's, it's just a little bit too much black and white um, once you flip up the envelope. And yeah, so all of these are great, great pages. And I will use those um, just probably for journaling tags and things like that. So, all right, I'm looking at this one again to see how I like it down on this page and it's just not working for me. It's not quite right. So I decided to go looking in another direction and I remembered I had some of this graph paper. Um, I can never remember what kind of graph, what that's called, what that machine is called, but I'm really liking this one. And I'm deciding, okay, so it's the right height, and I liked the dots on the bottom better. So now I'm like, okay, I need something to back both of these things on because they're just not sturdy enough of paper. It needs, it needs to be a little bit sturdier. So uh, looking for a piece of coffee dyed paper here. And I think I found one, yes. And so now I will just quickly measure, sorry, the Nebraska came out, measure, <laughs> measure the um, size of my pocket and we'll quickly trim those off. So now I have two backers that are the same, which will unify these two pages um, together. And now I just need to measure, see I said it right this time, uh, <laughs> this one, and I will cut the extra off of this one as well. But first I had to figure out which way was up, and I liked it this way better, so decided that that was the correct way up. I'm trying to find my pencil mark. <laughs> it disappeared. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so now I'm looking for another piece of paper because this aqua colored one is not quite wide enough. So I, will, I needed something on the right side to um, fill in some of that gap. So I'm going to do a little bit of a collage on this um, little pocket here. So just kind of thinking through that a little bit. looking at that script and I think I was trying to decide if it was too much script all in one place or not and in the end I decided it was it looked good so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one down to um, work on the right side of that pocket But first I need to glue down the brick one. So we'll just do that real quick. Using my Yoohoo glue here. You saw there that the glue was actually not blue. It should be blue, um, but I guess some air must have gotten to it or something that sometimes happens if they're a little bit older. Sometimes I use it so much I don't, they don't have the opportunity to turn white. And it was starting to warp on me so I just put that under the journal to kind of keep it flat and hopefully it would and I, I hoped it would dry uh, more flat I don't know how well that worked but sometimes it does and of course I wanted a ripped edge um, I don't like having straight edges all the time, especially for something like this. I like how it kind of fades from one to the other with a ripped edge. So just gluing that and very carefully pasting that down so that I have about the same amount of width um, around the perimeter all the way around. And... Now I'm switching gears and moving to the other pocket. And I remembered I wanted to use this one instead of the other one. So now I just need to glue this one down. This paper has um, an, an, a layer of black in between the two papers of layer, the two papers of layer, the two layers of paper. <laughs> so here you can see some of that black um, because the page I used, the uh, book page that I used to lay it down on to glue it, had glue on there already. So uh, it makes a reaction of some kind and um, sometimes it comes through. So I actually liked it in this case. It, I kind of like wanted it to be a little bit grungy and that's exactly what I got. So... I just, I really love this paper. I don't know if I'll be able to find it again. I ended up, I found it on eBay. Um, if I can remember, um, and if I can find the link to the seller, I'll put that in the description below if you're, if you're curious. It was a bit expensive. I don't typically spend quite as much as I spent on this um, for supplies, but uh, I really wanted it, so <laughs> I think it was like 15 bucks or something for a little roll of it. I thought there was going to be more to it than I got, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, I, I love it whenever I use it, so I guess that's all that matters in the end, right? So, um, all right, so now I'm going to take my um, Distress Ink and 
I'm going to go around the perimeter of both of those and switch back over to this other one to finish working on that. And I decided um, to include some of the fabric that I had used around the um, cover uh, on this pocket. So just cutting off a piece of that. And now I have a whole stack of stamp sets that I pulled out of my stash because they had pieces or elements that I thought worked well, like the old timey um, camera there, or that one's just kind of random script. Here's some architecture, uh, which I'm going to hold on to that one for the other pocket. Um, I was considering it for this one, but I'll just, I put that one to the side. Um, here is some really cool uh, lighting, electrical lighting and stuff. Since this is kind of like an industrial um, typography style journal, that's kind of what I was leaning towards. This is a steampunk stamp set by Bone Bunny, but I'm looking at that little light bulb in the bottom corner. So putting that to the side, got some words or letter stamps. So yeah, just kind of looking through all the stamps to see if there's anything I really like better than anything else. I like the typewriter on that one. Yeah, so. In the end, I decided to use that little light bulb stamp. So just going to put that on a piece of that coffee dyed paper that was left over from when I cut it up for the pockets and making sure it's the right size. It's the first time I've used this stamp, so I want to make sure it had plenty of ink on there. Um, probably should have done a test one first, but you know what? I live by the seat of my pants, so <laughs> see how it goes. It's just a little scrap of paper. If I had to redo it, that would be okay. <laughs> and look at that. It turned out really cool, so... <laughs> um, Yep, gonna rip around the edges just to make it look a little bit more old. And then I will eventually uh, distress those edges as well. And when I say distress, I mean ink around the edges with the uh, vintage photo. And here I decided I didn't need all of that fabric. I just needed a little bit and I wanted it to be behind my little light bulb there. So just ripped off a little square of that. All right, now we're gonna start building our collage. So got the main elements and now I'm gonna go look in my newly made ephemera book for some ephemera <laughs> first page has some of these ticket stickers that i got from aliexpress and right off the bat i i caught that one out of the corner of my eye and i thought oh yeah that's cool i want that one so pulled that one out and just gonna look for something else i wanted something that was kind of like a tag that you could write on um, to kind of, I don't know, document whatever is tucked into the pocket, I guess. So, um, 
sorry, you can't really see the page very well, um, but found this page of tags and thought Ooh, one of these is probably exactly what I want. So kind of just looking through that one was a little too busy and I wanted something horizontal and not vertical. I like the color of that because it had some red in it, like to uh, correspond with that red in that ticket. Um, but it just wasn't quite right because everything else in the collage was rustic and older looking, but that tag was a little bit more modern looking. So, um, while I like the tag, I just decided it wasn't quite right for that particular purpose. So I'm kind of looking some more. Um, and I also wanted something that was a little more brown, uh, tan colored to uh, match with the script on the right and the light bulb coffee dyed paper on the left. So found this one and that one was really kind of perfect. So go ahead and glue in this down. And I'll um, stick down everything else as well. The trickiest part about doing this is getting everything back where it was originally. <laughs> And I did ink around this stamp as well. Um, I just cut that out. I don't know how much you can really tell that I did, but I know I did, so. So everything stuck down. I felt like it needed more. So I'm looking at the stack of washi that I still had from my last project sitting there. And most of it was Tim Holtz. Well, some of it was Tim Holtz. And this particular one is um, it's just that brown background with the like handwritten numbers on it. Um, it's one of my favorite washies of all time. So I tend to use it a lot. <laughs> so just kind of going to add a little bit of washi here and there just to kind of try and fill in some of that space. And, um, have this big washi that I just got from AliExpress and, um, I really love the script on it and it's, it looks white, but actually when you, um, uh, paste it down, it's almost see-through, so... I like how the different scripts are kind of working with each other there and I don't mind ripping it up because it's so wide. There's no way I'm ever going to use it that wide for the most part. So um, it's kind of like torn bits of paper almost.
And here I'm just trying to fill in some of this gap on the right side there. And yeah, I like how that turned out because it's still a little bit see-through. So you can see the aqua color behind it, but it's also adding something with the script showing there. Well, I hear some kitty purrs. <laughs> and then I have another piece of that other washi. Again, I like to, if I use it in one spot, I try to use it um, somewhere else on the page. So kind of completing the circle here and again with this other piece from the bigger piece that I ripped away from um, gonna put that um, somewhere else on this little pocket the question is where <laughs> so just trying it out here and I really did not like that at all um, it felt like it just didn't look right. I think it needs to go vertical instead. So just trying it here and I do like that. So I think that's what I decide on and I'll glue that down. but it was a little bit too long. So I just cut it, ripped it in half. Sorry, I'm so out of frame right here. For some reason, my camera moved positions on me and I didn't realize. All right, so got another fragment of that washi tape there. And now I'm gonna move back over to this other pocket and try and figure out what I wanna do on this one. It'll be another sort of collage, but um, instead I'm gonna lean a little heavier on the stamps. And since I had used that light bulb stamp on the other pocket, um, I decided to go with this one that was more of an architecture design, um, like, I don't know what they call plans, I guess. Um, so decided on that one. And now I'm trying to decide what else to put on that um, besides the stamp. So looking here at these little quotes, and even though they look really cool, um, the actual quotes are not things that I would really ever say <laughs> they're kind of a little I mean they're they're from an, a, a country where English is not their first language so I don't blame them I if I was going to try and write something in Chinese I'm sure it would sound funny to them too so <laughs> um, so in the end I decided to go with uh, one of these craft colored tags and um Decided on, I think, that design. It doesn't really matter which design. They, any one of them would have worked great, um, but chose that one. And here I'm just planning out to see how it will lay out on that um, pocket. And I wasn't sure if either of my stamp blocks that I've grabbed were quite big enough, but 
I think this bigger one was, or the longer one was just barely wide enough, so. It's not my favorite one to use though. It's a little bit cumbersome to uh, get positioned correctly because it's so wide, but it does come in handy. <laughs> Yeah, see here I'm struggling to figure out how to get my hands and fingers where they need to be. <laughs> Pushing down real hard on that, but it still didn't stamp real great, but actually I kind of like how that looks. Um just looks worn and exactly the way I wanted it to look so turned out pretty great and then I decided um, probably on the right side uh, I needed another one of those little stamps and here just kind of looking to see which one might work and the one in the middle there actually I really like so I'll go ahead and use that and switch my stamping block to the one that I can use a little easier. <laughs> and we'll just stamp that one down next. In hindsight, I, I wished I would have grabbed my little label and um, spaced it a little bit better. Um, ended up putting it a little over to the left more than I should have. But that's okay. I just, I had to cover up a little bit more of it than I had wanted to. So. Here I'm trying to figure out where to place the labels. Because I don't want to cover up too much of either of them. But I had to anyway. So. Just decided that was an okay spot. And now I'm going to distress my label and I ended up distressing kind of the whole thing uh, you'll see that in just a second not just the edges but on top of it on the main part of it too and I didn't have my tweezers handy but sometimes if you have a pair of scissors it works really well with a sticker like that to help place it and I still got it kind of crooked but that's okay and some more washi tape <laughs> This is another one from AliExpress. They have all kinds of washi tape like this. It's not hard to find. Actually, if you just type in washi, you'll find all of this stuff. <laughs> so. And I like this washi because it's got a little bit of a color to it. There's a little bit of like a peachy red undertone to it. And then it's got kind of like sketching and writing on it as well. So really works with the theme that I'm going for here. Kitty wants to say hi. <laughs> say hi, Sophie. <laughs> All right, so sorry I missed that. 
So I did some decorative stitching and sewed around the outside of all of those, or both of those. And then now I'm just gluing down the three sides to make them into pockets. And we'll be just about done. So here I'm showing you my stitching. And see, now you don't even notice that the label's a little bit wonky. <laughs> So there's our finished pockets. And then the one on the right side, and that one's got some messy stitching as well. And I think next time we'll continue adding tuck spots, and then I'm going to start making some journaling cards to put into all those pockets. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.